we chose to place this working facility where the original working facility was on the farm. Uh, that might have been a mistake. We could have maybe thought about different locations, but we chose this location for a couple of reasons. One, it's accessible for multiple pastures, and also it is accessible off of our main driveway on the farm. So as we've been working on our fencing here on the farm, we've been really intentional about trying to create some alleyways and uh, areas to be able to push cattle into the working facility. We recently did um, water lines on the farm uh, and we placed a new water tank here just beside the facility. Uh, and we fenced that water tank in to have a capture lot. So we had one pasture here that wasn't really very easily accessible um, from the working facility. And that gives us easy access to work those cattle um, from that pasture. Uh, as well, uh, we have sort of a, a pond here just, just behind the working facility and we've actually built an alleyway from the other pastures um, between the pond and the old house uh, to give us a push alley to bring our cattle in. Uh, and we also have one small uh, paddock just in front of our working facility so that when we um, work and wean our calves, we have somewhere to wean our calves at. Uh, the working facility here was built with, with wood uh, for two reasons. One, it's a fairly permanent material, and at the time when it was built, it was actually a little bit less expensive. Uh, currently, with wood prices, that's not necessarily the case today. Um, but at the time, there was a cost consideration to it. Um, as well, it gives us a little bit more flexibility in the design um, so that we could make it operate the way we wanted to. We just purchased a new chute here in the last couple of years, and um, one of the reasons we purchased it um, is because we had just poured concrete. Um, so one of the things we have here is a really nice level surface um, that's very stable, um, and we were looking to put a permanent chute in at this location. Um, this, this one's really a nice um, chute. Uh, the real benefits are it has really good access um, to feet and hooves as well as to the sides. Um, the neck is an open area on this chute so that we have very easy access for giving shots. Um, and it has a head bar on the front so we can capture the head um, if we need to do something like dehorn an animal or if we wanted to do something even as simple as um, putting fly tags in. So when we designed this facility, we intentionally placed an area in the front here to capture and recapture. So we intend when we bring cattle into this facility um, that we have a large open area in the front to capture. We then push them into our working and sorting pens um, and then they work through the facility, but the area in front can then be used to recapture. So we can both work animals and recapture out front here and then we could also sort off from that recapture area in front of the chute. So this facility is designed so that there's actually sort of two pens. Right now, we don't have a gate set up in between them, um, but we could potentially put a gate and sort within the working area uh, before they go into the um, tub and then into the single file alley. Um, so we do have the ability to set two different groups within that working facility. The other thing we have is um, a tub in the back, a 90 degree tub. Um, that's actually a wood-based tub. It's one that we didn't purchase, but we built ourselves it's very intentionally done so that when our gate swings through there, we don't really have any large openings between the posts uh, and the gate itself where a cow could get their head stuck and work their way backwards. So the facility is designed so that we have easy access for load adult as well as for working cattle. And we've actually off shot um, the chute and we have a straight load out from the tub. Um, that load out alley is a single file alley um, and it's designed so that we can back a trailer up um, and only have a single a slide on the back of the trailer and we can load our cattle directly into a trailer if we need to. Um, it's really a nice design because if we were working and, and pushing some animals onto a trailer and other animals were working um, through the chute, we could actually sort them with a small swing gate within the facility itself. We have poured concrete in that loadout alley, which keeps it a little bit higher, uh, making it a little bit easier for those cattle, especially smaller calves, to step up into a trailer. So currently we have geotextile fabric and gravel out here in front of the chute um, and around the edges. Uh, and then we have concrete in our single file alleys. We have yet to put in um, geotextile fabric and rock um, in the working pens. Um, that is an intention uh, in the future to do that. Uh, we'd like to actually expand to have a few more working pens um, just beside the facility because our cattle numbers are growing. So we're waiting until we finalize the last couple 
uh, working and sorting pens before we put in the rock and geotextile fabric. And one of the things that I, I recommend to people is that they do their planning ahead of time um, and have a plan in place when they first start their build. Make sure there's enough space at the spot that they're looking at for their working facility if they think their animal numbers are gonna go up. Um, in our case, we know that we have more space just to the side so that we can create more pens um, that sort of parallel the two pens that currently exist. And our intention is to expand in that direction. Um, some of our gates may, may get rehung a little bit differently to make the flow work a little better. Um, but we're fairly confident that the openings we have are gonna work long term. The way we want our gates to work is such that whenever animals move in, the person who's coming behind them can easily shut that gate and not have to push in animals while also trying to close a gate. Um, we certainly don't want gates to swing into a thing and then we have to swing them back once the animals are pushed in. So we always want the gate to work in such a way that the animals um, can easily be captured. Uh, we choose to do double gates in a lot of locations for a couple reasons. One, if we ever got larger equipment on the farm, it's easier to move it through a double gate. Um, it also gives us a little bit of flexibility um, down the road if we need to sort or do something else. We can open one gate or the other gate depending on which direction we want um, something to move. We work our cattle fairly frequently. We certainly get um, um, our cows worked in the fall and in the spring. In the spring, we tend to do our heavier dosage on medicines and we put in fly tags. Um, in the fall, we will again give another shot of VL5 um, just because in this area, there's a lot of issues um, with our water containing lepto. Um, so we do give a second dose in the fall. Um, the other things we tend to do is work our calves. Our calves get two rounds of shots. Um, actually, ours get two rounds of shots before they are weaned and then a, a third round at weaning. Um, that's just our approach. Um, just because there has been blackleg on this farm before, we're really preemptive and we give blackleg very early um, to make sure we get the two rounds in even before we get to weaning.